It's so funny. I had rewatched the Nicole Kessinger interviews again. And who said that Chris Watts' eyes turned black? Nicole Kessinger did. She said his eyes went black. His eyes went black. Who else says his eyes went black? Who else claims Chris Watts' eyes went black? Hmm. Comment your thoughts below on that one. So since there's so many dinks, you know, that there's these different narratives, and the narratives all boil down to Chris Watts did it. After I learned Cheryl and Cadle's claim to fame, Chris's eyes turned black, was actually first stated by Nikki Kessinger, I thought of an old interview that I'd seen that Cato coincidentally says the same thing as. This gentleman, this friend of Chris's, whose wife was friends with Shanann, they were friends and neighbors to the Wattses. He worked with Chris Watts at Anna Darko. Did you see that? How often does her blood sugar drop low? Anna Darko. Anna Darko. Where he speaks on all the dark. Nicole Kessinger. Shenanigans. This video got scrubbed off the net, P.S. And he was the one that says Chris told him he'd seen a demon in the house with red eyes on the night after the murder when he was in the house alone. So I went searching for this video of the friend of Chris Watts that worked with him and watched the whole thing go down with Nikki Kessinger and gave us all this scoop on her and is still friends with Chris and gave a lot of information and it's gone. I wonder if he got threatened and he made the person take down the video because these people target, like full on target and stalk like Scientologists. He still wrote letters to and considered Chris a friend. It was shocked by what had gone down and felt that Chris was covering up for Nicole Kessinger. He worked with him at Anna Darko and said that she had very demonic, dark energy and that like a wicked, evil vibe came off of her. He said she had the Book of the Dead or a book of necromancy. I can't remember exactly which book he said, but it was a cult, an occult book. And it was on her desk every day, along with a specific kind of crystal. And I don't recall which one he said, but I think it was quartz. And quartz is what they use in the occult mystery religions. So this guy was basically saying what I been feeling is that Chris Watts is afraid to tell the truth and he was under mind control and something else happened. The main takeaway though from the co-worker of Nicole Kessinger and the friend and co-worker of Chris Watts whose interview got scrubbed from the web was that he said Chris told him that on the night that Shanann the first night that he slept in the house alone, the night after he allegedly murdered everyone, he saw a black mist demon with red eyes manifest. Changing popular opinion? Question mark. The eyes going dark, Nicole Kessinger said in one of her quote-unquote police interviews, and then the black shadow figure was said by the friend and employee at Anna Darko that got scrubbed from the web that was telling about Nicole Kessinger, talking about Nicole, Nicole Kessinger and the occult. And I think that it goes so deep because the quartz crystals connects to the tar batteries that the girls were obscenely and tragically and horrifically put in. I mean, first of all, where Nicole took Chris camping prior, there was literally a woman who was drugged, gang harmed, and called her baby's father and told him everything that happened and was going to air them out. She found out there were 
trafficking humans and drugs. And at this place, I did a video on it called Crestone. So check out my Crestone video. As soon as she got done telling her boyfriend and another friend that she was going to air this trafficking human ring cult out, she disappeared. And they've been searching for her body. And during the search for her body during the day, over a 60-foot mining shaft, a huge demon appeared. And not just any demon. It was the Phoenix of Maleficent. If you've ever seen the Maleficent movie, the demon form. Crystal Ann Reisinger was the woman's name, which is very similar to Nicole Kessinger. Crystal Ann Reisinger moved there because she was a medium and she wanted to use her talents. She went there first and then she was going to get settled and send for her boyfriend and her child. And like I said, this place is a hidden location. It is not known to the public. So it took a lot for her to get in there. It's a secret place. The average Joe Schmo doesn't know about it. You have to be in the know to get into this place. It is owned and operated and run by the elite of the elite. And the elite of the elite wanted what's going on right now in the world to go down. So in order to appease their lowercase g, ancient Babylonian, Egyptian, Roman, Greek, pantheon that they mix all up they require blood sacrifices and especially of the innocent and what is more innocent than an unborn child so check out my videos on the 12 a.m and then the 3 a.m rebel yell and check out my crest stone video because it all goes together with the dark spiritual aspect of this i mean first of all that house gives me like uh, as i've said before i guess the world would consider me a medium i'm very very sensitive to spirits i, I get visions and um, i used to read cards i get visions of things the good friend of chris and shanann the one who worked at anna darko and said she had book of the dead on her desk yeah and said that chris told him he saw Black shadow figures with red eyes. A demon manifest in the house the night after the murders. And that guy's video is scrubbed from the web. How mysterious is that? And from Nicole Kessinger herself. He claimed Nicole Kessinger was in a cult and that she had the family murdered. So I wonder if his life was threatened. Hmm. And is that why his interview has been scrubbed off the net? Question mark. Again, this channel is from a spiritual perspective as I believe that the spiritual world that we can't see is more real than what's in front of us. And there's wickedness in very high places regarding this case, in my opinion. And Nicole Kessinger is being portrayed by the mainstream media on all platforms as the hero in this case. And from Jump has been sus. And been protected by wickedness in high places. But we the people are wide awake. And we see through all the lies.